Hello, Jack Middleton, The Empowered Vegan here, and in this video, we are going to be starting the first video of my Indian cooking series, and we are gonna start with how to make Indian seasoned rice. Welcome back to the Empowered Vegan YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you wanna receive weekly recipes and tips on how to elevate the way you eat. And this week, I present to you the first video in the Indian cooking series. And we are going to start with the basics. How do you make tasty Indian spiced basmati rice? So let's jump into it. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the rice and you're going to rinse it and then soak it in water for 30 minutes. While the rice is soaking, you can dice up your onion and get your spices ready by the stove. Once you've got your onion diced up, you can put a pot onto the stove and then you're going to add in your dried spices. You're gonna add in your cumin, your cardamom, your cloves and your cinnamon and you're gonna to toast those dry in the pan until they become nice and fragrant. We wanna make sure that we're toasting our spices dry in the pan before anything else hits so that we can really unlock that natural flavor. The way I like to conceptualize dried spices is like this. When you dry them out, it's almost like they go dormant or they go to sleep when it comes to their flavor. So you have to use some kind of chemical reaction to awaken them. And in this case, we're using heat. So you need that initial dry heat at the beginning to unlock the natural flavor of those spices before you add anything else to the pan. Once those spices get nice and fragrant, you can add a little bit of oil and then you can add in your onions and throw a little bit of salt in there too. Saute that down until the onions become nice and translucent. After the onions have cooked down, then you can add in your rice, add in your water, bring it up to a boil, drop it down to a simmer, so put it to a pretty low temperature, pop the lid on, and set a timer for 15 minutes and let it go. After 15 minutes, check the pan, take the lid off, and push some of the rice aside so you can see the bottom of the pan. If it's dry on the bottom, then you're good to go. Pull it right off the heat. If there's a little bit more liquid, then keep it cooking for a little bit longer until that evaporates. Once you have it off the heat, let it sit for five to 10 minutes or until you're ready to serve it. And then take the lid off and take a fork and fluff it by pulling up from the bottom all the bits of rice and that'll create a really fluffy, nice basmati rice. Once you've fluffed up that rice, it is ready to go. You probably wanna serve this with something. It's not really a standalone dish. But next week, I'm going to be giving you one of my favorite gravy-based Indian dishes. I've dropped a couple hints on my Instagram, so some of you may know what it is. But for those of you who don't, get excited because the next dish coming up is a good one. Maybe, maybe my favorite vegan Indian dish. I hope you enjoyed this informative video on how to properly cook seasoned basmati rice, and I will see you in the next video.